Ross here, welcoming you all to another episode of Extreme Memories. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to these guys right here, the Wrestling Chatter YouTube channel, the exclusive presenters that bring you Extreme Memories on the 15th and the 30th of every single month. Our guest, oh yeah, one of the ex-girls from XPW is right here on this episode of Extreme Memories. We welcome Veronica Kane, the very lovely, yeah. And she was a big part of XPW. She was in the big faction, the Enterprise, along with Ryan Katz, GQ Money, Chaos, Steve Rosano, and don't forget about motivational speaker TJ Rush. He was there too. Now, we talk a lot about that, how she started, how it kind of transitioned from the adult entertainment industry. Yeah, Extreme Associates, XPW, we talk about all that and what she's doing today and her involvement now with XPW 3.0. Fans, enjoy this episode. Chris Kloss from the Wrestling Chatter YouTube channel, Extreme Memories, here is Veronica Kane. Veronica Kane from the Enterprise, welcome. Thank it's you. Been it's been a while. Welcome to Extreme Memories. Great seeing you again. We actually just saw each other not too long ago at mm -hmm. uh, XPW California. And man, that was probably, I would say in, I guess, 19 years we saw each other. Because because I don't think we worked together. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we worked together since the, the last days of XPW. No. Um, no. Uh-uh. But that... Uh... Probably that night was uh, made up for a lot of it, considering it was, um, it, it felt like <laughs> two and a half days. Oh man. Yeah. I, I, um, my voice, my voice held up and, uh, but the next day after the event was done, I was whispering for two days. I couldn't talk. So I, I can, yeah, I can imagine like <laughs> you were a freaking the eighth wonder of the world that night. Thank you. You and, yeah. uh, you and Pat were like insane. How? <clears throat> yeah. Um, he kind of filled in Pat, so we thank yeah. you for that. Um, but um, let, let's get into it, Veronica. Um, All right, and um, get into oh, XPW as we call it, XPW 1.0. Uh, back in '99, it started, and uh, but before we get into your entrance into XPW, were you ever a fan of uh, a wrestling fan before you got into XPW? I wouldn't say I was a wrestling fan. Um, I mean, like I had seen a little bit of wrestling. I, I thought it was entertaining. And like, obviously as a kid, like in the, um, in the eighties glow as a girl glow, you know, was pretty cool. Uh, mm -hmm. but no, I know I'm definitely not what one would consider a wrestling fan. Um, I'm I'm an XPW fan. <laughs> there you go. Well, I, I asked that because I was actually talking to Pat, Patrick Hernandez uh -huh. at the show. And we were kind of, no joke, we were kind of talking about the different girls that came through XPW. And, I, and, and he brought up you kind of like taking it to the next level as far as getting how this whole thing works. You know, like not just, not just, okay, here's your character. You're going to play this character. But a lot of them would just play it, but then kind of not know what to do, what, what the next step was for like getting the angle over, getting yourself, getting your opponents over, whatever. And you did that very well. We'll get into that with the enterprise and all that. I thought it was, I thought that was a nice compliment. And then when he said that, I was like, you know what, you're right. You, and then you're thinking about your work, you did kind of take it to the next level more than some of the other girls kind of did. They weren't, you weren't just there. You know what I mean? You were involved yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so how were how were you approached uh, about first joining XPW? Of course, Extreme Associates, part of XPW, Rob Black. So, uh, I mean, initial initially, my exposure wasn't I, I wasn't like approached uh, as far as really having to do anything with the show. Um, you know, I was working in adult entertainment, um, and you know, you sometimes get tapped for some modeling thing or you know hey here you know here's 50 bucks 200 bucks whatever come you know come do this thing and um y'all had a show at the Reseda country club and um i was basically asked to promote in the form of uh 
uh, walking the streets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excuse my dog. She's needy. Um, okay. <laughs> so I, uh, I made a sign. We all had signs, you know, we were out on the street in like booty shorts and, you know, bikini tops and whatever, yeah. getting, getting honked at by strangers yeah. and, uh, literally like women would drive by and be like, whores, <laughs> <laughs> phenomenal. Uh, yep. but I'm pretty sure I, my sign said blood, sweat, and boobs. I'm pretty oh. sure that's what I thought it was, yeah, I, um, you know, that doesn't yeah. get your attention. Um, and so after my little gig, you know, where I was just promoting outside, I went in and watched the show and that was the first live wrestling event I've been to. Oh, wow. Um, and it was so fun and yes. I got into it like right away, you know, just with everybody's characters and, um, and the crowd just being, uh, loud and, and rude and crazy and I'm like, you, you don't get it. Mm -hmm. I have a bowl of carnitas sitting right oh, next no to me. I'm, just, no I'm just tossing her shredded pork. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I mean, I was just kind of jazzed on it. And I saw the women coming into the ring and I saw what they were doing. And I was like, well, that looks like fun. And that certainly looks like, you know, nothing outside the realm of possibility for myself. Um, and yeah. I had worked, you know, a little bit. I think with extreme at that point, I think that's why, you know, I was asked, um, but just, you know, um, a scene here or there, I wasn't, obviously I wasn't a contract uh, performer okay. with them at that okay. time. Right. It was like uh, Christy Miss, Jessica Darlin. Right. I think Jasmine St. Clair was still there when you came in. Not really. I don't, I don't think no. so. I think it okay. was mostly uh, Christy and Jessica and obviously right. Lizzie. Um, yeah and myself yeah so so um after that blood sweat and boobs and i do that now that came back to me i do remember that the receipt show i think that might have been our last receipt show you did that. i think you're right yeah i think um, you're right and so after that um who did you talk to did you were you approached did you did you approach kevin or rob or uh did so they just um after that show, uh, you know, obviously, like I went backstage, I met people, I met wrestlers. Um, I, uh, you know, talked to a couple people or whatever. And what ended up happening was um, I, I had more work at Extreme, um, you know, the adult stuff or whatever. And I ended up meeting Webb, who, oh, was, right. who, was, right. who was editing at the time. And uh, I remember being at the old offices and he came out and flirted with me in his awkward way or whatever. Um, and then at some, so at some point we became a couple. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I still, you know, wasn't really, I, to be honest, I think I pissed Rob off at one point and I wasn't actually working for extreme much anymore. Oh. Um, but you know, when Webb would have shows, I would go and watch the shows and, you know, get into it and whatever. And then at some point, you know, as, as things do, things calm down or, you know, whatever, whatever <coughs> you're, you're about to, you're going, you're going to go in the room. Uh, so you, so yeah, you and Webb basically became a couple. Yeah. And you yeah. know, Webb was a video editor. Um, so, you know, he obviously, he worked in the offices yeah. and. Um, he brought his work home. And so, you know, I'd kind of see what was going on and what I was doing an adult at the time was very cookie cutter. Okay. I don't know how, how adult we want to be on this show. <laughs> oh no, go ahead. It's fine. Yeah. Um, whatever you're comfortable it, with. It, uh, every scene, you know, at that point just felt like, as they say, like blowjob missionary doggy pop. It was just like, bam, 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 bam. You do this, you do this, you do this, we're done. Um, boring, you know? I mean, it was a paycheck, but it was, um, I didn't see my career developing, Chris. Okay. Yes, right. <laughs> so uh, I saw the, like some of the crazy shit that was going on at Extreme, and I thought, you know, um, I could kind of do that too. I'm like, the wrestling is cool, and like, I think I could do some of this crazy, like, weird theatrical nuts, jackass shit that they were doing at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, 
Uh, so I don't know exactly if I approached Rob, if Webb approached Rob or how that went down, but we ended up talking about it and we uh, decided that, you know, I would um, contract with them and work, you know, solely uh, with Extreme Associates. Okay. Yeah. So that's, and you became, along with Chrissy, along with Jessica Lizzie, uh, one of the contract girls for... Right. And then, you know, at the time, my name had been Barrett Moore. Yes, um, right. Um, my cute little name that I came up with. And uh, Rob decided, no, you need to, we need to reinvent you as Rob Black does. Yeah. Um, and so we came up with a new name and, uh, you know, and then with the um, the sort of persona, I guess, um, that would accompany that with the wrestling. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So it all kind of fell into place right there. And um, interesting, because again, that was um, kind of leaving the early stages of XPW, the Reseda days. Now you came in when we were still in the first office, correct? Yes. Okay. Right. And, and, um, and you basically lasted all the way to the end, along with a few of us lasted all the pretty way much. to the end. Yeah. I would say pretty much. Yeah. Right. And so, Okay. And then, so now we're venturing into television. So you kind of came in at a good time because the the first year pretty much of XPW was basically the infancy non-televised feeling out processes of XPW because once one year was gone, we were on television. We kind of got the, the the gears greased up and kind of got into a well well moving machine at that point in time. And then now you came in. Were you intimidated, Veronica, at all performing? in a different kind of entertainment, like pro wrestling, once you got out there, once you got on TV in front of the crowd? Um, I don't know if intimidated is a word, but I was definitely nervous. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely took it seriously, you know? I mean, um, you know, as, as Pat kind of said, and Patrick and I have talked about it as well, like I did, you know, I did take it seriously. It's, it's, yeah. um, it's important that it be done right. You know, um, yeah. I'm that kind of, I'm still that kind of person. It's important mm -hmm. that stuff be done right. Um, and so, you know, definitely there was a little bit of, um, of nervousness with that. Um, and, you know, I, I came along at a great time in XPW, but right. I did not come along at a great time in Extreme Associates. Hmm. Um, there had been a falling out between Rob and AVN and AVN was everything right. at that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was not, um, pro you know, I didn't get the like, promotion and the, you know, the magazine stuff and all that stuff that like kind of came before me. So it was, a, it was an odd thing. Like right. uh, I was, a it was black sheep in, you know, adult in more ways than one. Um, yet. Yeah. With XPW, like the, the timing was, prime um, it was prime yeah for sure yeah. and then yeah. that we start going into the uh, i don't think you were there at the la sports arena but you were there at the grand i Olympics. went to the shows but you i wasn't the on shows, the shows right yeah. i i i big i do remember that now um so and and like you said did it help because like i said i don't want to name any names but i thought of all the girls like uh not all but but you were one of them that i felt like kind of oh, okay once you once you got it you kind of naturally understood where to go within the parameters of how to make a wrestling angle show skit, whatever work and make it make sense. Did it help? Uh, you had some good minds you around your boyfriend at the time, Webb, uh, great wrestling mind, GQ money, great wrestling mind, chaos, all those guys, Rosano did that. You kind of were, were put in a good spot to be surrounded by, I feel and you tell me, did it help being around them, hearing them talk and go over stuff? Well, of course. I mean, um, you know, at, at, when we did move to the new building, uh, that's when the asylum came into play. I mean, that's when we had a ring actually in the building. Um, so, you know, I mean, there would be times where uh, wrestlers would be out there, not just the students, but the wrestlers, you know, and stuff would be out there and you could just, you know, kind of go out and pick stuff up and, you know, it was interesting. Um, Webb was um, protective, yeah. you know, which was probably good. He made sure, you know, if, if there was something, you know, an idea popped up or something, it was like, hey, hey, hey you know, hey, let's be careful about this or that or whatever, because I mean, obviously I'm not 
a trained wrestler, but there were times where I did spots, you know, that, um, you know, could have, yeah. Yeah. could have, you know, uh, been dangerous. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, smiley GQ money, yeah. um, and, um, angel, was yes, that's right. yeah. Angel was amazing. You know, as, yeah, as Angel, yeah. Angel and I, you know, kind of became this sort of arch nemesis. Thing. Yeah. It seems like we, we encountered each other a lot in the ring. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's good good stuff. Good television. Yeah. Um uh, but yeah. he was always um very helpful, you know, yeah. in, um in anything, but uh no, I definitely got tips, but I I'm, you know, I'm no slouch. I pick stuff yeah, up quickly. Yeah. And, you yes. know, I, right. I, 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 say that, I say that what you just said before I say what I said about being around those minds, I'm just saying that's wow. What an extra bonus that was Yeah. For someone that's already, cause you can put somebody around those minds that just still don't get it. You know, of course you have to get it first. Then you build on what, you know, you two minds better than one type thing or three or four or five. So, but no, it was a good, good, um, you talked about spots. What what was your craziest spot or spots that you say in XPW? Um. Well, I mean, you know, obviously the raw sewage match is more than a spot. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, that was something that we definitely, you know, worked hard to put together. Lizzie was beyond. She was amazing. I thought in that, and I I helped. Yeah. You know. Did all right. I did all right. I held my own. You did all know, right. Yeah, you did. Yeah. For an amateur, or whatnot. But um, that I would say, like, if I was going to be proud of anything, you know, it would be that. But you know, there was stuff along the way. Obviously, you know, being, uh, you know, ringside and whatever. It, it typically was, uh, you know, referee distractions and that kind of stuff. Um, which was fun. And I always loved working with Pat and, you know, yeah. like I'd be giving him shit and he'd be like, Oh, okay. You know, whatever. like giving me some, you know, whatnot, yeah. but, um, uh, I'll go with, I bit Chris Hamrick's junk. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. I did the like, Oh, please don't hurt yeah, me. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I went in for the, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but you know, honestly, like I, so I, I don't always remember stuff so good. Okay. Um, nope. And, yeah. you know, I go back and I see things and I'm like, fuck, I took bumps from like Shane Douglas, from Danny Doring, you know, from Webb, like, you know, yeah. throughout yeah. throughout those, you know, matches or whatever. Like, I, I feel good about the fact that I was trusted, you know, to yeah. get involved on that level. And totally. because I had been dancing. Um, you know, I was a dancer for uh, a mm -hmm. few years before I got involved in adult um, and even right. during. Um, so I had a little bit of athleticism in me mm -hmm. and uh, it was it was fun to be able to, you know, utilize that and yeah, uh, make it interesting for the fans, hopefully. Uh, absolutely. What was what were you you mentioned Web, GQ and KS, but what was our first off? Um, what was, can you describe some of the training? Like what were your training like? The bumps, the rolls, running the ropes? Uh, how involved did you end up getting in that? Cause I remember coming in for TV and when others were working out and then for a while, it was like, you were in there with Angel, with uh, whoever else, but I do remember you and Angel and you and Lizzie and just really, like you said, you were at one point in time, I remember you were focused, you were dedicated, you were like for a good month or month and a half on, on a Wednesday night when Rivera and I would come in, you were in that ring, in that ring big time. But I know that was before, after you got your initial training, but how was that initial training? And as well as those moments I'm talking about right now. Where you Chris, there was no initial training. Like <laughs> like that, the stuff that we did for uh, for the raw sewage match was the most that we worked. We definitely- That was probably, well, was probably the one I'm thinking about then. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And you know, and, and then also Lizzie and I did the buck naked match, which, right, yeah. uh, you know, watching it later, I'm like, ah, we didn't do shit really. You know, I mean, we did, uh, you know, a few spears, that a few stops. Mostly we rolled around and pulled hair. But you didn't um, have to. You didn't have to because the the principle, the angle there was the 
the reveal of the buck naked. So you don't need to do any money. That's right. You already sold it, you know, but, but, right. but again, you were very uh, focused at that time. I remember. Right. The other stuff was like uh fly by the seat of your pants stuff. It was like, Hey, this is, we're going to do in five minutes, not, not five minutes, yeah. but it was legitimately like, Hey, what do you want me to do tonight? Or, Hey, what are we going to do this weekend or whatever? And like, Oh, I was thinking, you know, whatever. And I'll, I'll be honest. Like I just had a little natural ability. And so I was able to just kind of roll yeah. with it. Mm -hmm. Um, literally, you know, at the time training, no, I, I always raise my hand and say, Whoa, Whoa, Whoa. Like, do not confuse me with a wrestler. I'm not a wrestler. I would never presume yeah. to take that title. Okay. I did spots. Yes. I was involved in matches. Um, right. however, and I'm not taking credit away from myself for like, yeah, we did a good job, you yeah. know, but no, I look at as, I mean, wrestlers in general and the lady wrestlers now, especially now. Um, and it's yeah. like, no, don't put me in that category. I don't deserve it, you know? Okay. Um, yeah. but, but I'll, I will take credit where credit's due. And like for, yeah, right. for a couple of amateurs, like Lizzie and I fucking, we banged it out. Yeah, you know. to the point where this may surprise some people that you're just saying that right now. Um, yeah. yeah, What was, how was it once you got working with the Enterprise fellow members, Chaos, GQ Money, Steve Rosano, uh, because once you got put into that faction, then then you were kind of off and running. And then, and then you were pretty much involved in most of the TV, uh, the big angle spot matches against rob and the black army and and the um you know you usually were in there with some big stars that had come in from you know rival companies how was that uh that whole experience once the enterprise started amazing mm -hmm. yeah amazing i mean um y you know um i will uh always hold rob in a certain place for sort of giving me um the credit okay. to be more than the valet or you know more than the i'll escort you to the ring sir like you yeah. know the fact that um i was like put into this um role of being a a, a boss bitch you know and and you know, calling shots and, you know, although I, um, it was definitely a group effort because there was so much personality going on. Oh, in these yeah. Yeah. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like yeah. the money yeah. was just, oh, uh, yeah. I mean, he's a force and chaos yeah. was coming into like his own and Rosano is hilarious. And I mean, TJ. <laughs> yeah, TJ Rush. Motiva motivational speaker, TJ Rush. Don't forget him. <laughs> um, no, there was a lot going on. And I mean, at one point, like we worked with, like Sandman worked with us and, uh, you know, and he was even fucking cool because like yeah. we'd be taking pictures and he'd be like, hey, girl, get in the middle. You're the money. The money gets oh. in the middle, you know, whatever. We take a picture and I'm like, that's right. <laughs> ah, I'm not arguing. Yeah. Um, but no, I would, you know, pick up on, on anything. I always, uh, just had a lot of respect for everyone. And that was something that is still something about wrestling. That's, um, near and dear to me is the respect that goes on the etiquette, yeah. the, uh, just reverence, you know, yeah. um, Kind of like, uh, kind of like, uh, um, you know, oh, we're privileged to be on this side of the curtain. I always say this on the show, but we're, but it's so important. We're privileged, and wow, this is all a dream come true. You're on this side of the curtain, that's not exposed. I mean, back then at least, but not exposed to the fans. So there was this kind of camaraderie, like, wow, this is this cool. Like this is living a dream right now. You know, being yeah. back here. So I, <clears throat> I think that created naturally that that love and camaraderie and this kind of like unity of, Hey, we're all one team and we got to put on, we're all on the, look, we, we, pre, we pretend that we're going against each other and I'm narrating all you guys fighting, but really we're all just one unit, one team trying to put on one good show. And that, that you felt that in the back for sure. Yeah, for sure. And that, and that was 
something I'll I always and maybe my most like to me that <clears throat> that's the most proof of this this dream is a reality right now you know yeah, yeah. very yeah. cool stuff um and uh shout out to motivational speaker TJ Rush don't forget him yeah I found um, I did find him on social media but I might have lost him on social media Okay, well, we're going to try to still get him on the show. And maybe you, maybe you can talk to Webb and get him on the show. Maybe you have some power there. So we've tried I, been trying to get him too. I, I possess a small amount of magic there. We were, we, were right. this, we were this close to seeing Webb at California. Oh, really? Oh, man. Yeah. That would have been another surprise like Angel was, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Darn it. All Angel, right. well, Angel and I spent the whole night together. Like, like we watched the show from, you know, behind a planter where no one could <laughs> see us, hopefully. <laughs> but people still came up for his autograph. Not mine, his. Yeah. Oh, it was <laughs> good seeing awesome. You. It was great seeing you. It was great seeing John. I didn't, I didn't expect to see him. Rob, well, I kind of heard he was going to be there, but not really. And, and I was still surprised to see him though. But, um, um, let me let me ask you, is there well, let me more specific. I, I want to ask you, I ask you what your favorite spot, but do you have uh Veronica a favorite in ring moment at all? Do you have a one single favorite in the arena in the ring? I want to say I don't. Okay. No, no, nothing, you know, nothing comes directly, you know, to mind. Um yeah. Okay. I mean, to me, I mean, I would go to the broadcast or we do a post, but the times we did do it live later on, but I was just, just coming out to the arena. Just, Whoa, you're in the ring. Oh my gosh. There's people there. Like, it's just, it's honestly, it's, it's, you still, you can't explain it to some, to people that, that didn't experience that. It's like, it's, it's, I don't know. You can't describe it. And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. So I, I mentioned that, like, I don't remember things. And one thing I didn't remember until I rewatched. So when I found out, you know, XPW returns to LA, that's, that's what really, you know, I knew that, you know, rebirth had happened and, you know, and I was happy, you know, however, yeah. like when I was like, oh, they're coming to SoCal, I was planning to go. I had, okay. I had no intention of being on the show, you know, okay. uh, but I was planning to go and, um, Shit. Well, I lost, I lost you, my train of thought. You're right. You, 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 thought for a you're right. You were just talking about you forgetting stuff and telling That's me about what, what happens. You That's what happens. It happens when you, you know. So now there's um, to remember. <laughs> uh, we were talking about favorite. Spa, uh, favorite in, in ring moments. Yeah. Uh, if you have one specifically. Yeah, man. Oh. I was re-watching matches. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, um, I think it, I just was watching episode five where uh, Rob actually put in the, the raw sewage match. Oh. I forgot that I like won. You yeah. know, yeah, yeah, I forgot yeah. my hand got raised as the winner and I was like, look, I won that match. <laughs> it's like, I mean, obviously we cheated or, you know, we all, we all won. Um, but yeah. Uh, no, I, I didn't remember that. So that's kind of cool. I'm like literally had my hand raised as the victor, you know, even though clearly we cheated, but that's, hey, that's you're, not, you're, not, you're not supposed to admit that you're a heel. You say you want fair and square. Come on. <laughs> okay. Well, um, yeah, but, but we're, we're shooting here, so it's okay. Um, or, you... or we cheat and we don't give a fuck because we win that's cheat right. and win people. That's how it goes. That's the motto of the enterprise right there. Um, so how was um is there any segment that you that you enjoyed doing most any any uh like because you guys did a lot of the vignettes you guys did a lot of stuff in the office because we, we you had the luxury myself rivera the enterprise and web and and we had the luxury of being a few a few of the talent that was at the office somewhat regularly so when you're at the office you're more likely going to get used with like office skits and vignettes on XPW TV versus guys right. that are only at the shows. Don't come to the office. So you guys were there. Do you have any favorite segments? 
that you enjoy doing most or, or maybe like a like th th two or three that you can think of no particular order most memorable probably were obviously leading up to the raw sewage match was uh us getting attacked with the the raw the the sewage truck oh yeah yeah okay like a truck pulled yeah, up and, and sprayed us sprayed the enterprise yeah. with a truck full of feces <laughs> memorable yeah um oh my gosh what an experience the, um the home invasion oh the, yeah the attempted sexual assault hashtag oh. me too we were so horrible i love um, how i love how i love how all these things we speak of right and like okay we're pretending that this is all real right it's like there's a home invasion there's an attempted rape there's 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 a vandalism with sewage but ne never the cops are called, never the police. We, we have to settle it in the wrestling. <laughs> I mean, right. it's so silly. <laughs> it's, so, it's great. That's how we do. We it's settle great. it in the it's ring. Um, and then I mean, following I mean, the, um, yeah. the, the spraying with the feces was yeah. a great segment uh, in my bathroom or in our bathroom yeah. on the yeah. web. Yeah. <laughs> Where I'm in the shower, and yeah. directly across from the shower, we had a bathtub. And right. And money's in the bathtub, and we're both washing the shit off of us, like, ah, oh, we'll get them, we'll get yeah. them. <laughs> it's it's like a, a cartoon or a Three Stooges episode, you know? My God. Um, but it yeah, so I love fun. how, yeah, you guys can't take turns. You must wash it off at the same time and talk about <laughs> it. Of course. Of course, we do everything no, together. Yeah, no, 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 no police report, nothing. We're just, we'll settle it in the ring. Okay, just so happens there's a show coming up too, also in two weeks. Huh. <laughs> Coincidentally, right. This is when we shall work this out. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> no, we're not going to court. We're going to the ring. You know. But <laughs> so, Veronica, you were definitely again like uh, uh, definitely prominent in XPW, especially for the females. How your thoughts on your fellow females in the locker room, Jessica Darling, Christy Miss, Lizzie Borden? How how was that experience? So uh, I'll be honest, I had minimal contact with Christy and Jessica. Oh really? I I thought I I I would have imagined Christy because she kind of was seemed like she was on her way out as you were coming in. It it and it, it was sort of the same with Jessica. Oh, okay. Um I didn't. I, we didn't cross paths a lot. Okay. Um, so I really didn't develop like a relationship with them. Like Jessica and I, like we're, you know, Facebook and Instagram, whatever. We're like, love, 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 you know, on everybody's stuff. But like, we really didn't connect strongly mm -hmm. um, because there was just the timeline. Like she was yeah. sort of going out as I was coming in. Um, Lizzie and I, however, obviously we slapped the shit out of each other and, um, she used me quite a bit in, um, you know, uh, she was directing, um, some fucking crazy movies that I did. Right. Um, and to this day, like mm. she is my girl, like oh, we awesome. are sisters to this day. Awesome. Um, and she supports, uh, you know, me being involved in XPW. Yeah. That was important. That was important for me. Um, right. and she's a hundred percent like, like, girl, you're repping, you know, you're repping the old school because like, there's really not like, you know, there's no Christy, there's no Jessica, there's no Lizzie, there's Veronica. And, you know, if I'm carrying a torch for those women, great. Um, but you know, L Lizzie and I, we worked together, uh, you know, whether it was as director and actress or whether we were, you know, button heads in the ring or, you know, whatever. So like her and I definitely had the, uh, the, the stronger connection, obviously, yeah. um, of any of those women. And, um, you know, like I said, you know, to this day, it's important to me, um, that I have that relationship with her. Yeah, you guys, and it, and it showed. You could tell. I mean, I, I mean, I don't. Maybe I'm being biased because I, I saw everybody back there, but I could. It, it, it felt like you guys. It was just more than just two people that put a match together. You could tell, like, your minds were kind of intermeshed and working together with one another in, in what you guys were doing out there. And it, it oh. felt like you guys, look, XPW. It, pretty much, you could say this a lot for the, for generally for the company, but um 
we had freedom. We had freedom to do what we wanted. Case in point right here, by the way. <laughs> but we had freedom. We had freedom to do what we wanted. And you guys obviously did a lot on your own, right? Like you guys worked stuff out and you didn't need to like report necessarily everything to the head office or anything, right? Well, I think we had a trust, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I, I didn't interact a lot with Rob. Okay. Uh, in adult, an adult, I worked with my directors and Rob okay. wasn't, he wasn't directing at that point. He was kind of, you know, out and, um, in, you know, obviously he's the creative mind, you know, I mean, he's the, the mind hive, you know, behind yeah. XPW and everything, you know, did pass through him. However, yeah. um, I think there was a little bit of license on certain things like, fuck, you guys do it, you know? And if, if he liked it, then it'd be, it'd be gold. If he didn't, we'd fucking do something else, you know, yeah. um, whatever. But I, I think we had a little bit of, of trust going or, you know, mm. something that. that yeah. yeah. And, and um, you, you were not at cold day in hell. What is that towards the end? Were you remember uh, in in two thousand eight when um, there was that oh. reunion show? But you were at the ten year reunion show, I believe. I was. I was not per se on shows, but I definitely was at. And I think it was a ten year. Yeah, the ten year, and then but the year before we had that one in Redondo Beach, but I don't think you were at that show. Or no, you, I don't think you were there backstage or anything at that time. No. Okay. But you were there. I, I like I came back. I believe I I believe I came back from you know, I had moved back up to San Jose and I think I came oh, down right. to see people for the show. You know, I mean it was still it still had a place in my heart, you know, what yeah. five ish or whatever, six, seven years later. Um, you know, so I know I remember seeing uh, if, if that if that's the show. I mean, obviously Webb was there. Um yeah. Luke Hawks. Yeah. Uh, I think Vic came down. Willie Mack. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a photo. So I can, you know, I know some people who were there for sure. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah. yeah. That was the one in Hollywood. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we saw you there. And then, and then, then it was basically done until, like you said, recently, Rob bringing it back now. And, you know, when we started this Extreme Memories, this we started the show it was long before there were any, any talks of Rob bringing anything back. So it's a, it's quite the it's quite the shock to all of us, and it's it's kind of cool, you know. I mean, it was cool too. I don't know about you, but when we were in New York, there was a good reaction. But you know, we weren't in New York City or Atlantic City. We were in way upstate New York. But uh, coming back to LA, man, it was so cool going in the ring right in the very beginning and feeling all that the fans the electricity and and the and the want i feel like there is a desire for this again now it feels 100% like absolutely so you know i mean i treated that night like uh that was going to be the last time i did that mm. because there's a very good chance that that's the last time i'm going to do that right and i had no idea what i was going to walk out and do i've never um been to the ring by myself maybe i did a couple little one-off fun little things like uh rev x or you know i did a couple shows here and there maybe i walked out by myself but like okay. xpw wise no it was never me like the energy that was going on before that fucking curtain opened was always us you know yeah. it was always the enterprise yeah. and right. there was a lot of energy there you know so yeah. i tend to be a little quiet a little more introverted and whatever so mm -hmm. i'm like fuck leah veronica you're on your own you're walking out there by yourself tonight and like how's that gonna go down um and it was fun and i embraced it and if i had it to do over again like eh, yeah i probably I'm probably change it up a little bit. Like, you know, you always look back on things, but like, I just remember feeling really good about just being there and connecting all the way around the ring, you know, before yeah. I got in. And, um, 
I'm because like I said, I am a little more introverted or whatever. Like I'm always taken a little bit aback by the ah, mm. the people, yeah. you know. Um, but it felt like the vibe was good and I was enjoying it. And I was like, if this is it, this is it. And like, fuck yeah. Like I will culminate this experience with this and, you know, especially what followed and everything. Um, but maybe that wasn't the last you'll see of me. Maybe, so maybe not. I know what you mean when you're about to go out the curtain and you're either with a group or you're by yourself. It's quite different. Yeah. It's and really yeah, different. when you've always been in one in one situation, you know, for it to be different is. It's leaving the comfort zone for sure. And um, I remember when Rivera, when Montasico wasn't there, and I was like, oh, man, I'm going out. Oh, wait, wait, I'm alone. Oh, totally different experience, you know. All but, eyes on you, Chris. Yeah, but very cool at the same time, you know, just a totally different apples and oranges, two different experiences with doing the same thing. And the nervousness is great because I remember talking to Tom Byron once and he goes, you're a man, I can't get nervous for anything. You, you're lucky you're nervous. I was like, um, by, by the curtain complaining, I'm nervous. And he's like, what are you complaining for? All that means is you're excited. That means you're excited. You're lucky to be nervous because you 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 love doing this. Now get the hell out there and stop complaining, you know. That's great. Like, damn, damn, he's right, you know. And um, so no, I I get it. Um let me uh uh, ask you, you brought up Rob Black, uh, Veronica, your, your thoughts overall of Rob Black. Okay. <laughs> um, We've had the good, the bad, and the ugly with answering that question on the show, just to let you know. So, Okay. Uh, my thoughts on Rob. Uh, Rob will always hold a place in my heart. Uh, I do not judge Rob as I do not want to be judged by other people. Mm -hmm. I sometimes have to keep in mind that it, you, backing up when Rob and I first talked, you know, we talked about the past and, you know, we talked about this or that or whatever. And I was like, you know what? Like, I don't know, even if you were a piece of shit, I'm like, I was a piece of shit too. In those times, you know, I'm like, who cares? We grow up, we change, yeah. you know, whatever. But I, I, forget that Rob was even younger than I was in those days, Great. you know? Yeah. And I'm like, whatever people want to say about you, like, fuck, you were a kid and you were in, a, you were a kid in the most bizarre of circumstances, you know? I mean, who has this upbringing, who has this background and this backing and this just what's been going on the last few years and, right. and, and manages it. However, um, Here's what I'll say about Rob. If you know Rob, you uh, admire him mm -hmm. and you want to fucking choke the life out of him. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't have those two feelings, you don't know Rob for real. Right. Right. <laughs> and therefore, you don't love Rob because you oh, don't know yeah. Rob. And I love Rob. And yeah. I know Rob. <laughs> and I'm happy to fucking be working with him. And I'm happy that we are both where we're at in our lives, in our, in our positions in our lives. And I'm glad that we have both had experiences and grown and become who we are. And right. that's all I'll say about that. Fuck that yeah. guy, but also love that guy. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, I it, it, uh, if you know him, if you don't know him, no explanation will do. If you do know him, no explanation is needed. <laughs> <We'll do. laughs> right? And it's like, Sorry, Rob. I'm sure you're going to freaking see this and be like, you bitch, but whatever. No, <laughs> but it's all done with love, as you he said. He knows. Right. No, he mm -hmm. knows. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, there is no other like him, so. You, you mentioned, Veronica, that you were an XPW fan uh, before getting into XPW, not so much a wrestling fan. Was there no. ever more? No, I became an XPW fan when I got involved with it mm -hmm. and left it. Before that, I had no idea what it was. But I yes. mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, from night one with the standing on the street thing, but watching, you know, as Webb was my partner and watching him, I became an XPW fan. I'm okay. sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I wasn't, no I wasn't a fan before, really, really before okay. I got involved. No, thanks for clarifying. I wanted to ask you, do you... Did you want to do any more in wrestling ever after XPW? 
in my heart, probably yes. Okay. You, know, now I, you understood what, how this whole machine works, really. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I was just um, on a specific path. I was on a career path and a let's get practical with life path. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been there. So, yeah, I'm sure it was, you know, in the back of my mind, like that would be amazing. But it's not even something I thought to consider to allow myself to think, you know, oh, it just whatever. And and I even with rebirth, I really didn't. I was like, cool, good for them, whatever. And then when it was like, we're coming to L.A., I was like, then fucking I'm coming to L.A. Yeah. I'm like, you're just you're just six hours down the road like I'll be there that's what I told Rob like you know I'm like I don't care if you put me on the show like I was planning to be there anyway <laughs> yeah right and I think uh, there are a lot of people that ended up it's same same uh outcome you had that just wanted to be there you know um yeah what what overall okay I know we kind of talked about it throughout here but before we close out um what what are your thoughts overall now compared to it's so hard to compare, but compared to your experience in the original XPW, now it's just starting. But what are your thoughts on the whole relaunch? What what what, what did you? Well, I mean, you saw good for them rebirth, but when you first heard the news, what were your thoughts like? And what are your thoughts now on this whole thing? Um. So, in in touching kind of back on on you know Roberto Negro. Um, the, the startup, you know, um, definitely has brought up different feelings in different people. And I have mm -hmm. a wide network of people that I still talk to, yeah. oddly enough, um, uh, still, or again, or whatever. And I have people that don't understand, you know, being involved in it. Right. Yeah. Um, and that is what it is. Yeah. It is what um, it is. And, you know, there's a lot of, a lot, a lot of love there and whatever. And that's, you know, just the way it goes. Um, but I, I, I love the fact that everybody well knows me well enough that it's like, no, yeah, if that's what you're going to do, that's what you're going to do. And like, I, I get it. Good. You know, uh, but I'm, I find it very necessary in the political climate mm, yeah. it gets political but just in the uh nature that is our world and our planet right now and the cancel culture and, yeah, the, right. and the hashtag me too's and yeah. you know the fucking like the gender yeah. and er er everything like lately is just like yeah. I, I can't get it right if i don't say it right like i'm in big trouble i'm gonna get called yeah. names and yeah. you know whatever and it's like to have this back this yeah. like Such you a know necessary. what you you do what you need to do who fucking cares like this is what we're doing and it's ridiculous yeah. and retarded and insane and whatever um and and going back to you know before the, be the before times um including you know the censorship yeah and the imprisonment and the bullshit so um i'm fucking just pleased yeah. as pot to see yeah. xpw come back and to see success and to see uh, a little bit of the Long. before times you know yeah. coming back yeah. and hopefully sinking its teeth in and uh, you know, making people, uh, letting, letting people suspend, uh, belief and reality for a while and just have a fucking phenomenal time. Right. Yeah. No, I, I told, I couldn't, I couldn't agree with you more. It's almost like now that this has started back up again and because of the nature of XPW and what we did, you would think that this is the wrong time to bring it back, but because of that, it is the right time to bring it back. Mm -hmm. And, and I hope we are able to kind of capture that um, that suppression that I think a lot of people, all of us have right now to kind of, like you said, those before times, right? And capture that kind of just that vibe of freedom of expression that used to be in the Great Olympic Auditorium, that used to be in Patriot Hall and all the places we were at. 
that vibe, that feel is gone right now. It's, it's, but I don't know about you, but I was feeling it that night in Pomona and it was like, okay, we're, we're going to put this over. Cause this is what, you know, if somebody next to you is doing something offensive and you don't like it, everybody back in those before times didn't matter. That's your choice. That's your choice. That's your choice. That's your choice. Everybody was cool with everybody else's choices back then. Now, um, everybody's wanting to police the other, right? And so hopefully we can bring some of that, this freedom of expression back. And I, and I felt like it did come back a little bit. It was, it was very refreshing. So I know exactly what you're saying. Everybody, and, everybody there definitely looked to their left and their right and felt that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and I, and it felt great. It felt like almost like decompression time, you know, like, Oh, let's just relax and enjoy this. And Oh, and, I'm not going to be judged. Oh, and I'm not going to judge you. Like, oh, wow, let's come on, guys. Let's keep this going, you know? So, well, I'm going to, Veronica, before we get to the last question, thank you so much. This was great. I'm glad we finally made it. Yeah. Third time's a charm. Yes. Third time's a charm. And, yes. and I'm, I'm, I hope I hope very much to see you and we'd be working together and at the next show. Um, I'm going to close out with this question that I asked pretty much everybody. In your mind, in your heart, in your thoughts, what to you, what in your per, what's your perception of what the legacy of XPW is and will be? Wow. Yeah. Uh, I I think it's linked to what we just talked about. Yeah. I think it's linked to bringing back that feeling of absolutely letting go of everything that is correct and right and realistic and intelligent because <laughs> we do some stupid shit <laughs> um and yeah. and just being able to just let go of it all and be like we're gonna have a night every month or every two months or whatever where you know we just let our fucking freak flags fly and yeah. and and experience it with each other and um you know if that brings anything positive to anyone uh which i know it does absolutely yeah. believe it does um yeah. i'm happy to be a part of it i don't i don't i've never needed to be a superstar in anything if i can be a part of something yeah. that Right. that has any impact on people like that I'm, I'm pleased so i couldn't have said that better um well once again veronica thank you very much like you said it was great to finally get to do this and work together in pomona and hopefully the next show and uh any shout outs any plugs right now before we take off i don't you know i don't do plugs i gotta go okay. to work tomorrow <laughs> oh okay, okay. no but got i will see anyway you know what i'll tell you what there is one fan who asked for my autograph at the wrong or a picture at the wrong time there's a match going on and he came oh. up to me like can i possibly and i was like not right now because that's disrespectful i'm not gonna take a picture while people are whatever right find me at find me at the next show find me i'll be incognito maybe but i'll hook you up buddy all right remind her uh whoever you want <laughs> about that moment veronica Kane. hit me between that. matches yeah, there you go. That's the proper etiquette. Um, thank you again, Veronica. I'll see you at the next show. Thank you, Klaus. It thank was great you. to be here, and I will see you. Looking forward All to right. it. Thank All you, right. fans, for joining us. This has been Extreme Memories. Don't forget the 15th and the 30th of every month right here. Subscribe to the Wrestling Chatter YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you for watching Extreme Memories, hosted by Chris Kloss. He's dropping new episodes every month on the 15th and 30th. You can be the first to tune in by subscribing to the Wrestling Chatter channel right here on YouTube. See you next time.